Hey, what's up guys? So as you can see, there is a new friend here in the studio. Very excited to start kind of diving in a little bit more with the piano. I think a new instrument is always exciting to just discover sounds and bring some, some things out of the ears and, and yeah, practice. <laughs> All right, so today what I wanna do is take a really, really simple chord progression with four chords and try to play it in three levels. Three levels of comping, but also three levels of solo. So we'll use a few different scales and we'll explore. Ready? So the chords we're gonna use are D major, D7, G major, and G minor. So I'm playing this song right now in the key of D major, and uh, actually it's a part of a song I wrote. Two, three, four, five. Check your pulse, you're still alive. Six, seven, eight, nine. You really can't ignore the signs. That is now in pre-save mode as well. So if you dig it, you can also help out by pre-saving the song. Thank you. So the first thing I would do instead of playing kind of bar chords, which sounds nice too, you know, I would try to find something that is maybe more interesting guitar wise. So kind of the first step for me sometimes when I take chords, instead of playing D major, D7, these kind of like chords, I'll try to see what I can do. me this song started with this kind of D drone and then I kind of changed the bass keep moving that check out how it should sound he drifted far from shore he lost the key forgot the door forgot what he looking for but something he could not ignore was beating in his hollow chest a voiceless song that knew him best and all that he could see so here's what I'm doing basically D7 and this is Basically my G major, G major 7, B, F sharp, and the open E with this D drone kind of keeping in the background. And then G minor. And of course this is G minor major because of the F sharp and also 6. So I'll show you how to play it with chords in a second, but just check out that sound. So again, very, very simple, but it has a vibe because I feel like the open E string, that clashy sound, gives it a lot of color. Now, what I'm trying to say is not that this song is cool, but you can take that concept of the like clashy or the open strings stuff that sounds so nice with guitar and embrace it and take that element into your music, into your writing. Level one. So level one, we'll just play the chords. Basic chords are D major seven, D7 and I'm using shell chords. Check this out. G major 7, G minor 6. Again, slower. G major 7, G minor 6. Now I can also play it in time and add a little open string. I'm gonna add the open E, so check this out. Four. Open E. Together. So again, this is just the chorus, but already has some vibe just because of the open E. And of course the bending of the neck. Now let's try to solo. So if I'm looking at this song, um, what's happening here harmonically is we're playing the one chord, the tonic, D major, playing D7. So D7 is basically a secondary dominant. What it means is that we're kind of reinforcing 
the G major, the fourth degree, and then playing four minor. Now the whole thing is really in D major, very, very, obviously the only note is really kind of like out of the key is at C here when we're playing the D7, and of course when I'm playing the G major to G minor, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just feeling that like vibe. The G minor, of course, the B flat here is not in the key. So these are, these are two colors that are kind of jumping outside the boundaries, but we can also try to solo just with the major scale. Let's try that for a second. What I'm doing here is actually I'm not playing the C natural or the B flat to articulate the chord changes as they happen, but I'm finding notes within only the parameter of D major scale that will still articulate the sound and try to find melodies that work with these changes. Again, you can be general and still make a lot of music. This is kind of the point of level one that even within the boundaries of just the major scale, you can find a lot of musicality and a lot of ideas. And I think sometimes you just need to like loop it a little bit for you know a few minutes, half an hour, whatever needed, close your eyes and try to feel it out. Again, nothing too complicated, very simple ideas, D major, maybe a little band, but except that, really nothing. And still there is music there, and I was hearing and imagining the sounds with the parameters of D major. Try it. Level two. So what we're gonna do here is add a little bit of flavor to the chord. So instead of just D major seven, I'm adding this shape for D major seven, and maybe a little D seven nine here. Also, we can dial it with open E, but don't have to. And then I'm gonna go to G major seven. And to this G shape, this G minor six shape. So check it out really slowly. A little hammer on. To D seven, nine. All these shapes also appear in PDF here if you want it on the Patreon, thanks. So. This shape is beautiful to me. It's the same thing as the shell chord, just adding that D here, but I don't know, it makes it really nice with that clash between the D and the E. <sighs> so beautiful. I don't know, these clashes with the minor seconds or major seconds with guitar sounds so good to me. One more time in time, together. Three, four. with the bass. One more time with the bass. All right, so now let's try to solo on this. So level two, we're gonna use D major pentatonic. So D major pentatonic is basically, if you're more familiar with minor pentatonic, it's basically B minor pentatonic. But we don't really want to think about B minor, we want to think about D major. So we really want to hear that. Ah, even the coffee grinder makes that sound. It's kind of perfect. So check it out. Now let's write a solo with D major pentatonic. If you're not sure about D major pentatonic, it's again basically one, two, three, five. Six. So it has that beautiful, beautiful sound. Let's sing it one time. It's super, that sound. If you think about the keyboard, that sound is really basically just, just the pentatonic. So beautiful, but so clear. Now let's try it on our D major loop.
So again, there is some generalization with this minor pentatonic concept as well, but there's a lot of beauty. And the minute that we hear the chords in relationship to that key center and that center, we can make a lot of music happen. Level three. So here we're gonna spice up the chords even a little more. And also in the solo section, we'll do a little more tricks that are more specific. Let's try. Chord wise, what I'm gonna do is start with the same shape. But then right away, instead of just playing the D7-9, I'm gonna play an A minor seven. Now the reason that I'm doing that is basically I'm creating a two, five, one that leads us to the G, to the four chord. Um, whenever you have a dominant that is leading somewhere, you can legally add a two if you would like. You don't have to, and of course, different styles of music will kind of call for different sounds. But in this case, you can feel very free to add this kind of sound. So this is the chord I'm gonna add here. This A minor seven, um, four to A minor seven, nine, and then G major seven, nine with an open E. So we have the six as well to the G minor six. Check it out slowly. Three, four. Again, the shape slowly, D major seven, the one we had before, A minor seven, four to A minor seven, nine. And then the G major seven over B with the open E to the G minor six. Just one chord. Maybe a little bass. Here what I added is this, maybe that's a little much, but if you want you can grab that too. Basically D7, flat 13, flat 9, if you want that, here's the shape. All right, now let's try to solo on that. Level three in the solo, I'm gonna use the D blues, literally adding that flat five and a flat seven, and also the D major, and also the G, the D pentatonic, D major pentatonic. So we have these three ideas at the same time. The D, D major scale, D major pentatonic, and also the D minor pentatonic, the D blues. So let's, let's try. Just D major scale. Like you can see, these are simple concepts and ideas that give us kind of different flavors, different colors. When I'm here in this D major center and I'm coloring it with the pentatonic or I'm coloring with the minor pentatonic, the blues, it feels very different. Or the major scale, they're all legit. They all sound cool and good. It just depends on what we're trying to express. So what I would say, try to mess around with these kind of centers and try to pay attention sometimes, even if it's just four chords and you have like a you know, G minor, so pay attention. That basically, I guess with music, the ideas kind of being in the moment and being able to articulate ideas and thoughts, but it's a process of practicing. So we need to kind of imagine and hear the colors as clearly as we can, you know, it's not easy, but it's a process and we all just get better at that the more we do. So yeah, hope it's helpful. These chords are actually a part of a song I wrote, it's called Far From Shore. It's also the title track of the album that is coming up soon. Um, the idea behind the album is a big collaboration. There are 24 artists, musicians that are collaborating on this album and there are 14 songs. Um, we we're releasing actually 11 songs in this project and the next project will be couple more songs, um, but we have already 14 songs that are mix and master. So I'm super, super excited to share all this with you. If you can help out by pre-saving this song as well, it will be highly appreciated. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.